Uh, welcome to DACMAX. We've got a, a couple of stories to share with you. One is what we call our original biscuit, and what we've evolved into is using our Pro Biscuit. What I'd like to just step through is just the difference in the system. The, the core of the difference is really the difference in the timber. The fastening systems are equally as strong, it's the same screw fix, the budget's the same for the fixings, what varies is the board and the installation process. The timber itself, as you might be able to see, it's normal 19mm board, you'll vary in width and you'll vary in timber species. We cut a groove in the side of the board like this. A biscuit cutting tool is a 100mm blade that spins. Let me just get that for you. This is a biscuit cutting tool. It's a standard off the shelf. You can vary how much you wish to spend on it. The blade is actually, it has a controlled depth how far out of this housing it comes. So that when you actually push and insert it, it actually determines the depth of the cut and the width of the cut on the front. It will leave a cut in the side of the board with a half moon. Depending on how deep you've cut it, the depth of the cut, if I was looking at the board from the top view, how deep I cut it from here to here also varies how wide the cut is at the front because it's actually 100 mil. But the biscuit is actually different to that specification except for the arc. It suits a 100 mil blade. The width is 65 mil. So imagine if my biscuit is sitting in here. I've cut it wider, or I should say deeper. That allows me to move the biscuit to be centered on the joist. If it's not centered, it wants to what we call spoon out. All you do is just put another cut in. So this is actually where the biscuit sits. It has a, a little leg on it and the biscuit and the hole and that's how you get the pressure into the side of the board. Remember the purpose of this is to get away from uh, surface fix, nails and screws. This secret fixing has a flat cut in the board and the question often comes up, will it hold water? Uh, no. Actually the driest part of decking, if you remember, is this gap here is the driest part because from the front the airflow up this way dries the side of the board faster than water is sitting on the top. So the biscuit fixing system has a little step in the process and this goes back to just an installation idea. The board will have a groove in the side of it and the biscuit, you insert the biscuit, and I'll draw that for you, has a leg on it, and it's a T-shape. That leg will be flush with the joist material. Now, what you do is you actually fasten the screw at probably a 10 degree angle. The screw itself has got a pan head. So when it actually comes down, the pan head that downward force on the underside of the head of the screw is extremely strong. If you use a countersunk screw, which is terrible, it'll just drive through. It's very weak and please choose, make a conscious decision that the pan head screw over a countersunk screw gives you insurance. Now when we actually fasten this screw through, it's actually coming down into the joist and the pan head is sitting here. If you were to fasten it all the way, this wants to deflect down a little bit because it's not supported. What I'd like you to, to always remember is just leave this up maybe 10 mil. It leaves that just to sit because remember I've got another piece of board here coming this way. I need to engage that a little bit. See, I've got about, it's about five mil. Just catch the edge of the biscuit itself. Clamp it down using our Deckmax clamps. Clamp it in place. Go back and fasten the screw. It'll sit down into a rebate. Then you simply apply pressure with the clamp 
to push it in, and it's set. What that leaves you is a 3 millimeter gap. You can vary that gap by simply inserting a packer of some sort by the dimension. If you want a 5 mil gap, you insert a piece of material that is 5 mil, sit it on top of the biscuit. When the board comes in, it stops on your packer, fasten the screw down, bring your board in, remove it after you're finished. That's the process for what we call the original biscuit. What I'd like to go to is now the pro biscuit.